Okay, so there's a few aspects I want to talk about. Why does the world not believe in God? Because, I mean, this is, or believe in a creator, because this is, um, this really bothers me because uh, you have an organization of the Roman Catholic Church where the Pope declares he's the mouth of God and he's basically top of the food chain um, when it comes to religious beliefs. And so uh, maybe there's preachers or pastors or whoever that, that think that their, you know, their church group is inferior to his or something along those lines. Well, I just, I can't, I don't understand why they haven't explained to the world that every, virtually every uh, civilization all around the world has some sort of belief in a creator. So they haven't done that. They are a pagan cult, and that's why they haven't done that. And they've also led and funded um, many missions or you know, crusades over time to find original religious documents and take them and store them at the Vatican. So nowadays we have... We have what's called denominations, right? Denomination. So, you could be a Protestant, right? You could be a Protestant, or you could be a Muslim, or you could be, um, uh, you know, a Christian. Um, many, many different denominations of, of Christianity, right? Um, you could be... Uh, uh, many different ones. So, what does everyone believe? Do they believe in a creator of... Do they believe God created mankind in his image? Do they believe the golden rule? Because if they do, why is it they only ever talk about their book? You know, because you have the Quran too. That's a very popular book to, what, a couple billion people, right? They talk about their books. They talk about their books. Or... They talk about the prophets, or they talk about their rules, right? Their rules, um, or they might talk about all oh, the day, right? Because you have either Saturday or Sunday, right? The Roman Catholic Church really fucked up by trying to one up God and change the day. Unbelievable. And then they also have their uh, practices and rituals and you know ceremonial things that that go on in in their services, right? So practices, rituals, you know, ceremonial, we'll just do PRC. So this is what all denominations talk about. They never talk about, you know, the planet, the history of time. Everyone across the planet has believed in a creator. Now, in a previous video, this what I'm going to go back to now was on part four of the cane is still alive videos where I'm talking about P versus NP and what this is is P problems they use this in math sciences you know anyone that went to college for become an engineer or anything ever had to do calculus they would know what a P problem is and this is a possible problem that mankind can figure out so the, so your universe that you could ever observe or explore is all sided inside of a P problem. Everything outside of that is part of an NP, meaning it's not possible for you to ever uh, understand it or observe it or other, other than a few, other than a few materials you, that are in possession of mankind that have been, that have a, uh, crash lander or somehow been obtained by a mankind of alien spacecrafts but they can't even i mean they can figure out how they work but they can't figure out how to reverse engineer them because they have materials that can't exist can't be created in your existence okay so <clears throat> okay where was i should have made some notes what did i want to say after that hold on a second bear with me bear with me one minute um, yeah, so, okay, the reason why I wanted to talk about that is because you have, you have several, uh, many groups of people 
that have been wiped out virtually Native Americans. Native Americans. Um, tribes in uh, tribes in South America, stuff dating back. They had religious documents. You know, they would have been on deer skin or, or various things. They had religious, I mean, I just, it's unbelievable to me that, that what happened to the Native Americans is what happened. Because they had, not only did they have beliefs and documents going back and stories of a creator, but they had awareness of beings from the NP. Um, and how do they have awareness of that? Well, if you take any type of psychedelic or mushrooms, I mean, they, would have, they were Native Americans, you know, gathering, you know, foraging in the woods. They, they would have tried all of these things. You know, I, who Oscar would have been. During some of those experiences, depending on what type of, what type of uh, drug it is, you will have, uh, you can have the ability to experience something that is some type of being. And if you have, you know, a whole civilization of you around for thousands of years before you're intruded, you would have spent a lot of time talking about what did that stuff mean? And they, they would have had some, uh, some, some good understanding of what those, some of those beings in the NP were. Well, it was thriving at one point, way back, but um, being aware or knowing of any of those things now does, virtually doesn't even exist. And then, uh, you know, they're just declared savages and, you know, they, they got them to either fight each other and get wiped out or uh, massacred all of them. And, you know, now, now, we're, now we're stuck in the scenario of religion today where everyone's talking about their denomination. They're talking about their books, their prophets, their rules, their practices and ceremonial values and I mean it'd be a hard it'd be a hard thing to argue that anyone on the planet believes in a creator when this is the way all of you are behaving when you all believe in some sort of salvation day when just you as the Protestants will be saved or just you as the Muslims will be saved or just you as the Christians will be saved and on that day everyone else is going to be damned that. If you believe in the, you know, do unto your neighbor, you know, do unto others as you do, do unto yourself, you know, treat your neighbor as yourself, you know, the golden rule, um, God created mankind as his image, women as their companions, you're all supposed to treat each other equal, but you're all fucking divided between the de denomination. Now, that being said, the only people that I could have any respect for or have a good conversation with is people that have spent doing one of several things. And there's actually a, a good long list. So Taoism, Buddhism, um, spent any time trying to think about uh, awareness and... Um, what is it? A, a, awareness and uh, oh, there's another word I want to associate with that. Anyone that's ever tried to think about awareness, um, an, anyone that's an atheist, anyone that's spent any time practicing yoga or meditation, and you have some feelings associated with you that will come with some of these practices. Awareness of what's around you, um, yoga and meditation. So, for example, anyone that practices the teachings of the Dalai Lama, all of these people, and I, I missed a few that I wanted to add in here. All of these people, spirituality. Like, if spirituality is your um, is a focus of yours, or or. If you if you go, if you perhaps participate in a 
non-denominational church. If you okay, so if this is your spiritual beliefs, any one of these, which we're also talking about many people, right? You could possibly understand the videos I've made. But if you participate in this, this is basically division of religion led by the Roman Catholic Church. This plays into their favor. They don't want everyone around the world believing in a creator of, of everyone. No, they want you all divided as much as possible. And anyone that practices strict denominational, you know, Jewish would be a, Orthodox Jew would be a, a large denomination where they have, I mean, they have so many rules that they follow that they have to have memorized. Like over 600 rules every day, those guys have to have memorized for how they do everything. Um, very, very controlling. Um, but yes, religion is a practice of control. These, uh, these other values or a focus on this in your life, Taoism, Buddhism, awareness, atheism, maybe, maybe no beliefs. Because none of the traditional denominational beliefs make any sense. You, they don't. They certainly don't bring people together. Um, you know, yoga and meditation, Dalai Lama, spirituality, non-denominational. These people, well, they could they could be able to grasp and understand the videos I've made. And I'm talking about nearly 300 videos between my Facebook and YouTube that I've made over nearly the last uh, you know year or so. Um, so that's where that's where I'm at. That's where I'm, where God's at. And you know, I would appreciate talking to any of these people, but um, trying to talk to any one of you know, any one of those might be very difficult because they already have their beliefs set in stone in their own mind. They've been practicing it every day, possibly, or every you know, once a week for years. So they won't even care what I say.